Hi, as you are successfully approaching the ISS, it is time to learn how space journeys are planned. After all, this is just your first journey in space, but with the experience you are gaining, it is likely one of the many future journeys. Future space travels are expected to be way longer and more complex. Did you know that humanity has already found dozens of potentially habitable planets like our Earth? Let us see what is involved in planning an interstellar journey, a journey from Earth to another habitable exoplanet. A journey like this requires going from our star system, which revolves around the Sun, to another star system, which has our target habitable planet revolving around it, an exoplanet. There are at least a dozen or so potentially habitable exoplanets. First, we must choose a destination and collect data about potential routes to this destination. The exoplanet we want to get to should be habitable with high confidence, which means it is in what is called the Goldilocks zone, not too close and not too far from its sun. Like Goldilocks, we are seeking an exoplanet that will have just the right conditions for some kind of life to develop and be sustained. Back to our model, the process destination selecting and potential route set data collecting creates potential route set information. Information is meaning extracted from raw data. Having selected an exoplanet to go to, we now have information on potential routes that will get us there. Based on our information, we select a route to our destination exoplanet. Route selecting changes the route attribute of journey from undecided to selected. The selected route to the destination defines another attribute of journey, its duration. The duration can be unknown, short, medium, or long. The duration determines the kind of training that the astronaut group will have to undergo. A short duration journey means the astronauts must be able to sustain very high accelerations, which often take their toll on the astronauts' bodies. So taking the short duration means we must invest in endurance training for our astronauts to minimize their health hazards. Staying in space for a long time also takes its toll on the body, mainly due to lack of gravity. Thus, if the long duration route is taken, we must invest in training our astronauts for a long duration space travel. If we take the medium duration route, then we can conduct the standard training for our astronauts without special emphasis on endurance or long duration. The astronauts will be affected by exactly one of the three training types. We model this by joining the three effect links emanating from astronaut group with an exo-logical relation among them. Route selecting yields duration of journey at one of the states, short, medium, or long. Once the astronauts have completed their training, they will enter the spacecraft and perform their interstellar journey. This process is what provides the benefit of the entire system, increasing the likelihood of success in the mission to visit a habitable exoplanet. Since we must prepare many astronauts for the mission, we need to know the proportion of how many of them will undergo endurance, standard or long journey training. To model this, we are going to learn a new OPM feature, probabilities. We can estimate and specify probabilities of the journey duration being short, medium or long. The probabilities depend on the distribution of habitable exoplanets around planet Earth. Since we are not aware of many habitable planets in a radius of less than 50 light years around our planet, we will more likely need to take a short duration journey to make the journey faster. We are less likely to take a medium duration journey and least likely to take the long duration journey. We estimate the probabilities of the three journey durations as 0 0.5, 0 0.35 and 0.15. Let us add these probabilities to the three state specified result links. Needless to say that probabilities must sum up to one. So half of our cadre of astronauts will undergo endurance training, 35% standard training, and the remaining 50% will be trained for long journeys.
Is it probable that Hopcat is coming to give us a definition? Procedural link probability. The probability recorded along a procedural link of the outcome indicated by the semantics of the link. Let's stop fantasizing about exoplanet travels because you are almost at the International Space Station. I will see you when you are about to dock. <laughs>